Okay. We will be cleaning about six floors of hallways. These carpets were recently vacuumed. However, they do get a lot of traffic, so I have a uh, just a manual uh, dual brush electrostatic piece of equipment you'll see. That'll be for picking up the debris. Because what we will do is just kind of get the debris up. Like I said, it was vacuumed um, yesterday morning, which is kind of crazy. You'd see this much traffic. There's rain and leaves. So anyhow, we'll get the debris up. We're going to use the set principle, soil extraction transfer technology to clean the carpets. And then we will post back everything tomorrow morning. So with the big Windsor wave. So that'll take care of anything. We'll be using specialty pads today and some special end cap solution. Get up here to a higher level. And I'll show you the equipment. Waiting for my son to bring the swirly up. We'll be using that today. I'll just get some brief video for y'all so you can see. We got actually two buildings to do. These are both sister companies. This is the first one. Here you can see. We've got Green Dragon mixed up at two ounces per gallon. I've got two extra 25 foot cords and the swirly comes with a 50 so we'll have a 100 foot of cord. We got the Malish pad driver. We got the specialty pads. These are microfiber with kind of a oh, AstroTurf scrubbing strips. So it's kind of a two in one. I have a bunch more downstairs if I need them. Got a couple spray bottles with some spotter. Microfiber rag. Got my drink, of course. The Works HydroShot sprayer. We're not gonna shower feed, we're gonna pre-spray this time. I've got that electrostatic rolling brush. I think there's, yeah. See that it's already got some debris, but it's got two pans on it to uh, dump the stuff out. And I should have, uh, I did have a trash bag on here, so we'll have to go back down and grab a trash bag. So we'll take a look at that. And here comes the swirly. Getting ready for the job. And then the last thing, what's that? Hey, okay, just a minute. And then this, this little case is four batteries. Let's see if I can straighten this out and get a good grip on it. There you go. We get uh, one, two, three, and four batteries all ready to go. I keep a charger in the bag in case we're at um, a job site like this and we go through one full battery. I can go to the next floor down, plug this in, let it charge while we're doing the current floor. And then we've got, we just keep recycling the batteries over and over like that. So we'll take 
one of these out of the bag for the hydro shot. We'll push the button and make sure. I did charge all these yesterday. There you go. Fully charged. So that'll be that. All right, I'm gonna zip this back up and get prepared to use the manual. I know there's a lot of people who will argue and fight and disagree with me not bringing the vacuum up and vacuuming ahead. But like I said, we just vacuumed all these hallways yesterday with the uh, Admiral Wave, which is the big vacuum. And it's inevitable people walk in and out stuff on their shoes. I mean, I'll show you debris. It happens. So we'll use this to pick everything up in the areas that is needed. You can see gone. the van and grab my Hoover Hush tone and push that in front of me. Hey. Are you videoing yourself? Okay. So, are you on? Yeah. It's on. Went through this short hallway. You can see. Push these levers. Pops up. You can see the debris in there. And just drop it in the bag. Double sided. Just grab that out. Most of it's just loose, loose stuff. I may have had some hair in there from another job, but anyway, that's how it works. Put it back on to. You see, I'll carry this bag with me. And then what I do. In between floors, this is a husky cart. I just feed the handle up through the top here, flatten it out, stick it on the cart. So now it's ready to roll. All right, I'm going to pre spray. So, before, yeah, put, you can put the bag on the cart right up here. And then what you'll do is move, yeah, move your machine over into that hallway and then I'll spray everything move my cart over there and then you can start working and then I'll oh I need you to shake these shake up the green dragon for me hey. Why don't we go get the big machine? that is the big machine no, the bigger one because it's uh, not a swing machine it's orbital, so you have to go up one row and back. And well, why don't I, we get two machines? Because my feet. You start over there. You're doing more walking. No, I'm just falling behind you here. Um, grab one of those tanks out of there. And then make sure the lid's on tight and shake it up real filming? good. Huh? Why are you holding the camera like that? I'm filming. Oh, you are? Yeah. I'm, <laughs> not, I'm not doing no more editing. Trust me, I mean, I like the Orbot Vibe or my Mighty Eco 14, but for some reason, it's difficult with the cord. Is there in here? Yeah. Sorry, God. Cord like and sometimes it leaves streaks. So, what you're going to do is, I'm going to spray all this. You're going to go across and you're going to overlap each row 50%, and you're going to use these scrubbing pads, but you're going to get that out of my way so I can spray. So, that goes. What? Your machine. I want it over here. So it's out of my way. Alright, put this up here. Alright. You can hold that if you want while I spray real quick and then we'll turn it off and get started. I would suggest put this in the front of your tank. Alright, it's just gonna be in here. Okay. 
case you see spots, you can hit them. But in the meantime, I'm gonna do this whole section right here. Can't do more than that or it'll dry out. So do you wanna start back here and then get over there? Yeah, sure. Right, let me spray it. You can see, see the dirt? Yeah. Oh, grab me a battery. Set it right on the top. Tweedle D and Tweedle Dump. It's hot up here. Yeah, they get the heat on. You got the spotter in your in the tank. Let's pull it out and spray it. That should be good. Should it? Yeah, it should. You're gonna over wet it. So we're using the microfiber scrubbing strips. I'll show you the pad. I think I did already, but I'll show it to you again. It's a one step, which means it is scrubbing with the Astro strips and then absorbing into the microfiber. And they do absorb quite a bit. I've done this multiple times in some of my units. Dragon. Actually, I put in five ounces of the Go Oxy, which is the peroxide brightener, just so we get these parts to pop. The Green Dragon is a encapsulating, crystallizing solution. So when we post back tomorrow morning, this is a two-day project. All day today, we'll be cleaning the six floors. And then, hey, try not to slam into the walls because. No, I know there's a ramp here, so it's hard to. I know, just, just, just be careful because people will open their doors and complain. Anyway, it's a two-day process. We clean it up today. Come back tomorrow and post vacuum. And if there's any crystallization or any 
debris or anything that got trapped in the encapsulating solution, it will be removed via post vacuum. So you can see what we're doing. I'm going to manage this cord. We should be working away from the cord, but difficult to overcome. He's done uh, steam cleaning. He used to do truck mount steam cleaning with me back when he was really young. So we'll get going. I'll show you some final results when we're done. These are the microfiber pads I was talking about. You can see them a little better now. They have the AstroTurf and the microfiber. So we got a few of these. These are 15 inch. And we were asked not to move any of the furniture today as we go along. I do vacuum underneath there. Dirtiest spot is usually right here in front of the elevator. What's that? Uh, no, no, no. You can go here and then you can go halfway down the other the other hallway then we'll flip it there's not a whole whole lot of soil everywhere it's kind of just in the traffic areas sure what happened here it says aeaf lock so we locked the locked the brightness i guess or something i don't know stairwell or a wooden staircase that comes right off the right off the main thoroughway so we're going to use the caution don't slip signs you always want to be careful I mean, it does look like i used eh, about a gallon maybe just in this small area which surprises me but look how nice it's already it's already popping tuned and I'll be right back. Okay, here we have some what looks like permanent damage. It looks like somebody used maybe a dolly and or drug something through there. And you can see I scrubbed that out, put some magic bullet on it to no avail. What I'll do, this is a two day job, so tomorrow I'll come back with my drill brush and a little green dragon and we'll do that again. Get my shadow out of the way. But you can clearly see that line. There was a bunch of them over here kind of leads up to the room next to where he's standing. So somebody's got some kind of buggy or a bicycle and the rubber is just transferring itself onto the fibers. Very, very difficult to get out. So I will try, but I can't guarantee that it will be completely out. Other than that, everything's looking really good. We ended up just using a 25 foot extension. It's a locking and a light lit up extension. So 75 feet, should do it, be right with you. Nicely. 
you're witnessing here is the 175 rotary. This is a machine made by Hawk Industries. It is called the Swirly. I believe it's specifically made for the end cap store. I haven't seen any Hawk products called Swirly. This thing is a beast. As you can see, multifunctional. I do commercial, I do residential, I do tile and grout, I do wood, I do garage concrete floors, pretty much everything. And all the pads, you know, it's versatile. You can change the pads. You can even do a uh, screen and recoats on wood floors if you're into that with a 175 floor machine. So we are just moving right along floor to floor. We're working away from the cord, which is now the smart way to go. And he will get right here to the cart. And then I will spray all of this to there. And I think I'll stop there and go refill my containers because that's all I got. About a gallon and a half, two gallons there. And the other one underneath is also empty. So there you go. And the bag, I showed you that. I have the little portable sweeper right down there. You can see it. It's not gonna focus. But it's sitting there. I've already got any debris that was in the way over here. All this stuff, and then that's where we'll stop. I'm gonna go down to the bathroom area. There's utility sink and we will fill up our jugs and continue along. Stay tuned. Okay guys and gals, that is gonna be a wrap for today. We've got a few more floors to do, probably finish that up uh, tomorrow or later this afternoon I have to go run over and do a, a one bedroom condo not too far from here so gotta knock that out and then probably take a lunch break between now and then and then come back and complete the rest of these floors and then we get first thing tomorrow another uh, tower like this to do the sister to this complex and then the afternoon will be back here again doing the post vacuum and hopefully post vacuuming the sister the sister complex later that evening around four o'clock so looking great i'll take you down here and We'll pan out and have a look at it. The pre-spray is kind of a little extra work, in my opinion. The shower feed is actually a lot easier to do, but I still haven't fixed a little plunger on the tank, which I'm going to do. Probably do that today after lunch, and then the next building will just shower feed because the pre-spray carrying the jug, I mean, it does get it nice and uniform, don't get me wrong, but the shower feed option in a case like this would just do it really justice. You could see though, it looks absolutely beautiful. Not a stain on it. See there, it does have patterns. So like these, that's part of the pattern. 
I know it doesn't look like that, but I'll show you. Boy, it's having probably, you see what I mean? Per the pattern. So, that will do it for today's episode. Unless I decide to do a quick video of the condo we're doing. That will depend. Other than that, we are outro. Thanks for taking a few minutes to watch our videos. Be sure and like, comment, and subscribe. All that helps along with the analytics to build the channel. So look for us in the next video. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching.